Hi, my name is Perry Mardon and I'd like to share an insight with you. Over the last few weeks I've been working with some female clients who are really struggling as the mothering role diminishes in their life. Now, their children, I'm thinking about both clients, have, have, have left home over a year ago and they're both experiencing a depression, a sense of, of, of low self-worth as this deep desire to be the mother becomes thwarted. And in one of the cases, uh, the mother keeps going back into the children's life to try and be the mother, even though the children don't want it or don't need it. Now, in both these cases, it's time for re-evaluation this pleasurable role, this almost like biological drive to be a mother, a very important role for all human beings. We all want good mothers. As children we want to have wonderful loving mothers, supported mothers. And the mother of course wants to be the best mother possible. So after playing that role out for 17 to 25 years, whatever it is for a person, they become heavily identified in that role. It's all they know. So for the feminine, when the children leave home, there's a real sense of, of, well, who am I? This is my identity. This is where I've got my joy. This is who I am to others. This is who I am to the world. Now, if this transitional phase isn't hand, handled wisely, what happens is people move into deeper levels of depression. They don't move. They don't change. They don't evolve. They get stuck. They get caught in a void. And you can almost see some people dying inside once that role has finished. Now the alternative and the way of moving forward is to investigate who you are outside of that mother role. What's important to you outside of the mother role? What do you love outside of the mother role? What brings you juice, excitement and passion outside of the mother role? Now typically this takes an investigation, a real thorough investigation, because you'll find to be a part of the ego that does not want to let go of the mother role and move into these new roles. Because it's a kind of death on some level to the ego when you've got to let go of an old role, and that's hard, and the ego will want to hang on. So this investigation, this calling, to look and identify new roles forms a fresh start, a new way of creating your life. What you'll be able to do is identify those things that you put aside to be a great mother. You'll identify passions that you had rejected to stay in the most important role as mother. And so it can be a flowering of a wonderful and new life. You just got to do the work the self-inspection. Again, the alternative is sort of death of spirit as the ego tries to hang on to that identity and a person gets old quickly. They become rigid. Anyway, that's it for today and look forward to talking to you next time. Goodbye.